Good morning. It's the day after Bimbler's Bluff 50K. I ran that yesterday and it was a good time. Uh, I'm really happy with my performance. Uh, the day went really well. It was great weather. Absolutely gorgeous out there in the course. I'll post a picture here in the video somewhere of the, uh, the view from the top of the, the bluff. It was a great, great day and great day to be out there running. And um, yeah, race went really well overall. So I'll get into the nitty gritty here in a little bit. But just uh, right now, I'm just enjoying this walk. <sighs> it's good to be out here. I'm glad to be walking really well too. Not got that post-race wobble. All right, first thing I will say is just the result of the race. I came in six hours, 50 minutes and change. So um, I'm pretty happy with that, all things considered. And yeah, it was, uh, it was a good performance, I think. Uh, to give and give you some context, last year I ran the race in, I think it was six hours and 43 minutes. So as far as performances goes, I would say that's a comparable performance. And um, I'm kind of getting now into the, uh, the details of sort of what I think about that and what that kind of means, uh, why it was that way, and just, um, you know, uh, just the takeaways I can, I can get from that. All right, the first thing you can think of is the conditions. So I think it's always helpful to compare apples to apples when you're looking at, uh, you know, data. And the best way to do that with, with racing is uh, comparing different courses is, eh, it can help, it can be useful, but uh, if you really want to get some really good insight, you got to compare the same course because, um, you know, same words, same course, basically the same conditions because it's going to be the same time of the year. Ooh, got dark. Uh, it's going to be, you know, the same, uh, you know, same terrain, same uh, elevation gain, same elevation loss, uh, similar texture underfoot, you know, <clears throat> so. Comparing races year over year, I think, is can be particularly useful and insightful for us. So let's take a look at this one. Uh, last year versus this year. This year, the race was pretty wet. I would say it's uh, there was a lot of muddy sections that were not present in last year's race. So um, that, I believe, would have contributed a little bit to causing a slowdown. And I would bet if I looked at the data from the finishing time data of the entire uh, group of you know all the runners all the participants I would expect to find slightly reduced times this year compared to last year I haven't actually looked through that yet but that's my guess um, if I find it and I actually go through it maybe I'll put it here in the video all right so that's number one number two and I think this is probably the most critical factor you know